Hi everyone. Um, hope you guys are having a great day and thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Today we're going to walk through um, a recovery workout, or not even a workout, a foam rolling series that you guys can use to help recover from a long tournament, um, a really hard practice, or if you wake up one morning and you're just super sore. So you're going to need a foam roller and some space. It doesn't have to be one with little pegs. This is a pretty intense one. It could be a nice smooth one. If you don't have a foam roller, you're also more than welcome to use a ball um, or anything else round and rollable that you can find. But here's a quick foam rolling series that you guys can do to help stretch out your body, loosen your muscles, um, and get ready for your next action, whatever it is. So the first area we're gonna target are your quads. Um, typically as a lacrosse player, my legs get a lot sore or a lot more sore than my arms um, unless I lift or I get hit a lot. So I tend to foam roll for my legs. Um, and we're gonna start with our quads because mine typically take a pretty big beating um, from all the running that midfielders do. So we're gonna start with the outside of our quads. You're gonna lay your right leg to start on the foam roller. I like to keep my left leg up kind of as a brace and you're just gonna slide back mm -hmm. and forth. You're gonna hear my, my legs sometimes scrape against this wood, but you're just looking to take, you can start to rotate around a little bit, but you really wanna focus on the side of this quad first, and then you can switch. You're gonna just foam roll for as long as you need. I prefer to do like 20 seconds per whatever movement I'm doing. So now we're getting the side of our quad to start going all the way up towards that hip. Then you can roll kind of straight on. If you're looking to kind of alleviate a little of the pressure, you can go both legs on the foam roller, or if you really want to isolate one of your quads, you can start with one on. So we'll start with two. So you're going to go up and back. Up and back. This takes a little bit of the pressure off. And then if you really want to isolate a leg, you can head to the side and really isolate these quads. And you can roll one over. Next exercise we're gonna work on um, are our hamstrings. So your hamstrings, much like your quads, also take a pretty big beating when it comes to lacrosse. I know after I play, it's like the very first thing to get sore. So again, similar to the fronts of our quads, with our hamstrings, if you wanna start with both of your legs on, that alleviates a little bit of the pressure. I like to go from right behind my kneecaps all the way up to the bottom of my butt to get some to get everything on the back of my leg. The backs of my knees tend to get really sore when I play, so I sometimes like to dig in there. Again, similar to our quad, if you want to isolate and put a little more weight on your leg, you're more than welcome to do that. The same thing with our right. From here, we can rotate down to our calves. Um, so again, similar, you're gonna lay your calves nice and flat, go down to the back of your Achilles and all the way up, nice and easy. You can rotate your legs around a little bit to get kind of the insides and the outsides, whatever's kind of feeling good. I know, especially my calves, that's where I tend to get knots. So that's where sometimes a foam roller doesn't work for me and I need one of the rolly sticks or a massage to kind of really dig in those knots. So I don't do my calves as much um, unless they're not super sore like right now. Now we're gonna work on our butt. Um, so I like to start with one leg. So right now we're gonna work on our left butt cheek. So I make a figure four with my legs and I really rotate around on my foam roller. So sometimes I'll go up, sometimes I'll rotate my legs out a little bit to get the side, similar to what we were doing with our quads. But again, digging the foam roller into spots that need to work, be worked. And same thing on the other side. Ooh, that one hurt. I have a little bit of a knot all over back. Laying your leg flat to get that outer butt cheek, outer glute, or going more central. The last thing we're gonna work on is our back and shoulders, um, especially these knobby 
foam rollers I think are great for my back and my shoulders. They're not as tender as like the meat of your legs, so I feel like your back can handle a little more pressure. I like to start right above my, my glutes, right on my lower back, and go all the way up and down. This is one I take nice and slow, kind of like the massage chairs at the nail parlor, um, to really dig kind of into every little crevice. It's like the good hurt, the hurt that kind of hurts, but it also makes you feel so much better. Whew. Like that. <sighs> Woo! All right, guys, so that's a wrap on um, kind of foam rolling 101. Again, if you don't have a knobby foam roller, you're more than welcome to use a regular foam roller. If you don't have a foam roller in general, you can use a ball. Um, it doesn't target as big of a space, but it definitely still works. Um, or other, the rolly stick, um, stretch bands, what have you. But the foam roller is a great way to kind of put pressure on spots you need. Um, and is a great recovery tool for you guys to use post-tournament, post-game, pre-game, um, pre-tournament, or just after a long day. It feels really nice. So, see you next time. Bye.